So when we're looking at assessing the students, um, we're, working, we're looking an awful lot at their work on their project, more so than the actual project itself. And we're also thinking about what did they learn and what can they demonstrate that they've learned from the project. So um, a fair chunk of their assessment is making sure they're in class and participating. Um, and that's actually separate from projects. And then within the project, we're looking at how well they managed and ran their project and worked together on a group to get their project done. And that, has less, that again, has less to do with how the project turned out and more with how they worked on it. Um, we've got about an equal chunk on, does the project meet the specified requirements for the, from the assignment? Um, as we say, we're not actually looking for good games here. We don't expect you guys to come up with good games given all the constraints we've piled on you in the time you have. What we want to know is can you make a reasonably complete game that fits all the requirements we've, put on, we've given you and runs well? Um, and then the final chunk is their own personal reflection. We ask, after every project, we ask each of them to write um, an essay. Basically, it's a short essay, but it's talking about what they did on their project, um, what worked well, what didn't work well, what changes they would make to the process and to the project on their next project, because we really want them to be learning from these experiences. And so what we're really looking for is proof that they have learned something and it's going to affect the way they work going forward.